It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Bellhaven Brewery and it's a can of their Twisted Mango IPA and it's coming in at 5.1% ABV. 330 milliliter can, quite a striking can. I like the design, I like the look of it. Uh, Bellhaven Brewery, one of Scotland's oldest breweries at 719. Uh, they're now owned by Green King. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass then. Quite clear. Quite a clear looking beer. Uh, good levels of carbonation. Three finger, slightly off white head. Mango IPA. Let's get the aroma. That looks very pretty, doesn't it? And I'm going to be honest with you, the, the drawback of a very pretty beer is that it's been polished. It's had some of the goodness taken out of it. Uh, some of the best bits of this beer might have ended up down the drain just for the benefit of this beer looking very clear. Uh, that's what I'm going to say on this beer's behalf. But there's a little bit of malt. There's a little bit of that mango coming through. It smells okay. It does smell okay. I've seen this beer, uh, the, the, this beer was kindly sent to me by Green King, um, but I have seen it in the supermarkets. Uh, and it seems to, do you know when you stand in front of a supermarket shelf and you see a massive, kind of, especially these days, 2018, massive kind of rack of beer these days in the supermarket, these cans seem to stand out. And that's down to really good marketing by Bellhaven to, in a crowded marketplace, make these beers stand out. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, there's some mango. Some mango flavours coming through. It's not bad, actually. It's got a candied flavour. I got like a, almost like a syrupy type of candy mango flavour coming through. It is quite citrusy. It is quite malty. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. It is a malty beer. But if you think of the owner, Green King, if you think of Bellhaven, they're very traditional brewers. Uh, they've been brewing beer for hundreds of years and they, they, they seem to kind of if you think of any regional brewery, you can go to any regional brewery in the UK, whether it be Badger, whether it be Brains, whether it be your Old Speckled Den, your Green King, your Bellhaven, um, your Marstons, they have kind of like almost perfected their idea of brewing and their idea of brewing is to brew malt forward beers first. It's what they're good at. And then if they want to splinter off into producing something like an IPA or, um, yeah, an IPA is a good example. This is a, a mango IPA. It's very balanced. It is a very, very balanced beer. You get the mango. You also get a lot of malt, lots of biscuit malt. It's part of the DNA of the brewery, I suppose. But there's enough there. There's enough there to carry it. There's enough of that mango flavor coming through to carry it. Just, just. 5.1% ABV. It's, do you know it's a beer, it's a bit of a smasher. It's a bit of a summer barbecue. 
in the garden crack open a couple of these they're quite they're relatively cheap they were on offer recently in Morrison supermarket I think it was something like uh, four for six four cans for six pound coming in at one pound fifty a can it's not bad let's rate it for me it's a supermarket beer but it doesn't pretend to be otherwise it's not shouting from the kind of the 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 right side of the craft beer movement saying we are producing the very best craft beer out there this is a supermarket style ipa that they have brewed because of the trend because of where things are going in the brewing industry people want to drink hop forward beers for me it's a 7 out of 10. So 7 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.